recipe. The usual traditional paneer masala recipes, you know, they add kasuri methi, cumin powder and uh, chaat masala, amcho masala, all that. But in my recipe, none of those reci no, none of those ingredients are required. The normal uh, spice powders and ingredients that are there in our pantry, only that is required. So for, let's see what are the ingredients required for the uh, recipe. I've taken about 200 grams of paneer. This is Milma paneer. Spice powders. First, about a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. About half a teaspoon of chili powder. a quarter a teaspoon of or uh, 1 by 8 of garam masala salt to taste I am adding just quarter a teaspoon of salt mix it well So usually when you prepare, I have heard many people say that you know the uh, paneer masala broke, I mean like the paneer in the paneer masala broke or it was it turned too hard but in this recipe after you, you know, marinate you saute the paneer in a little oil that makes the paneer soft. So after this nobody will complain after if you try this recipe surely you'll stop complaining about the paneer being you know <laughs> hard or breaky. So I'll marinate this for another half an hour. So now the paneer has been marinating for about 5-10 minutes. Now I'm, I've heated up a pan. So <laughs> Uh, this is a non-stick pan so recipes like this you know, always needs a non-stick pan but see on to that that you don't keep it on high flame always maintain a low flame when you, in high flame uh, the non-stick pan tends to emit some toxins or something like that I've heard that I don't know whether it's like a myth a fact or whatever so now uh, I've added two tablespoons of oil a normal oil, any rice bran or whatever oil you prefer. Uh, no, no coconut oil. So after that, after adding our two tablespoons of oil, I'm adding in the paneer. Just gently toss it. There's no need to, you know, right? So I turn the onion and the tomato and keep it, keep it aside. You see? see after about two to three minutes it's like this. At this point let's so now to the same pan I'm adding a small leaf. Uh, a small piece of bay leaf. If you want you can add in the old spices also. And I'm adding in the uh, crushed onion along with ginger and garlic. Also the green chili.
I'm going to add in a few curry leaves. this point, let me add in about quarter teaspoon of salt that's going to pass, pass in the cooking of the onion. Now let the onions turn brown. So the colors change at this point, let us add in about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder again another teaspoon depends on your spice tolerance about quarter teaspoon of pepper powder About half a teaspoon of coriander powder. So we have added about half a teaspoon of chili powder, quarter a teaspoon of turmeric powder, <coughs> one teaspoon of coriander powder, and quarter a teaspoon of pepper powder. So now let the raw smell go. Rosemary leaves we add in the tomatoes. So I'm going to add boiling water for the gravy. Not I will add water which is boiling. So tear, see on to the tube you, you use boiling water. After 5 minutes, this is how the tomatoes and the onion along with the spice powder is there. So now I am adding in about 1 cup of water to this, 1 cup of hot water. So the gravy has been boiling for about 10 minutes and this is how it is. Now at this point let's add in the paneer. So give this a mix. Finally add some garam masala. About half a teaspoon of garam masala. Bring this to boil for about 2 minutes, not more than 2 minutes. This is how our paneer masala is after 5 minutes. Now when the oil starts to float on top, would be the right time to switch off the flame. Uh, so I am going to transfer this to a serving bowl. I have switched it off now. So if you like this video, like and share my videos. Subscribe to my channel and support me. Thank you for watching.